Well, it is time once again for us to take a look at some of our Alaska news for this Thursday morning. It is February the 2nd, 2017, and it's brought to you by Inland Petro Service, 451-1905. If you're an Alaskan business, you know the importance of keeping your fuel dispensers working, from piping to tanks to having the know-how to fix the mechanisms at 40 below. There's an awful lot that can go wrong with fuel during the winter, you know, even in the summertime. Dealing with debris and water removal is no fun at all. And that's why you should call Inland Petro Service from fuel additives to tank monitoring systems. They do everything. Line leak tests, third-party inspections, no job is too big or too small, even point-of-sale installation and service above and below, in or out. They do it all. Give them a call at 907-451-1905 or check out their website, inlandpetroservice.com. From Bettles to McCarthy, Northway to Beaver Creek, there's no place too far. Inland Petro Service knows Alaska. Once again, we have such little time. All I can give you here in the video is the rundown on some of the headlines. You want all of the details and more stories, make sure you become a subscriber and I will email you a 30-minute version of the news, which includes both the national and the Alaska news. You may have heard that there are sex workers in Alaska and they are seeking protection, but they're seeking protection from the police, police who are actually are having sex with the sex workers. That's not supposed to happen. It, however, there's no law that says that they can't do it if it's in an undercover operation. So they want it to be specifically illegal. There was a barroom budget talk in Juneau that's kind of a precursor to the looming battle in the Capitol. And the legislature has gotten its first look at the proposal to triple Alaska's gasoline tax. That's right, the idea is to double it this year. And then by 2018, it'll be three times what it is right now. There was an early morning earthquake near Talkeetna. And I don't know if it's connected the volcano continuing to erupt. The Bogoslav has actually now erupted 28 times within a six-week period. Also, the state has laid out new expectations for cleaner air in Fairbanks, saying that they have to do more. They've already been handing out some tickets and fines, but now you can expect stricter enforcement. The Alaska Pot Board is mulling pot use in retail stores. There are some fears, especially in the cruise ship destinations, that as the tourists get off the boat, if they can use the, the stores themselves, it's going to become like Amsterdam, and they don't really, really want that. But if they can't use them in the stores, they're, they're afraid they're going to be out there in the alleyways because they can't take it back on the cruise ships with them. There was the shooting of a rare Alaska wood bison, you know, one of those that was just released back into the wild two years ago. One of them was shot, and now it's being considered a setback to the restoration project because the one that was shot was one of those exploring bison that was going outside the range of the other ones. Also, Juno police are warning of fake money being circulated. It actually says right on the bills that it's for movie use. But people are still been taking it. Federal firearms regulations apparently trump the Kansas gun law that allows people to not be subject to federal gun laws if the gun is made inside the state of Kansas. That has ramifications for all the other states, including Alaska, that have passed similar laws. And there's also a bill now up for consideration in the Alaska legislature that would officially replace Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day. It has advanced through its first measure. It'll be up for another committee meeting and then a full vote. That's what we've got for Alaska News. You like what I'm doing? Please support me either by buying a direct subscription at RadioFreeSpeech.com. Remember, the subscribers get the 30-minute version of the news with more details than just headlines. And you can also become a sponsor at Patreon. Thank you very much.